Hi, my name is Ileana. Welcome to The Mix, the Teen Center at the San Francisco Public Library. I'm your humble host for our STEM Challenge Yourself series. In this series, we have some of our librarians sharing some fun and creative projects that you can try at home. Today's Challenge Master, he actually has many talents. So I think you're up for today's challenge. Ready? Hello friends, thank you for joining me. I'm Mr. Joseph, and today we're gonna juggle with data. What is data? Data is information we collect around the world, about the world and around us. And our brain is constantly gathering information and processing data. In order for data to be useful, it needs to be examined deliberately. So today, I'll show you how to analyze data. So we would, if we will go into follow the polling process, sort, organize, interpret, uh, make an interpretation, and we need a piece of paper. On that piece of paper, we're gonna draw two lines. One line is on the long side, and the other one is on the short side. Make sure they intersect or meet at the corner and mark one and two if you have two bags and leave a space between the numbers. Then you would need your data, bag number one. So at home, uh, look for colorful beans or colorful cereals and put it in a bag and that will be your data. So now we're gonna follow these steps. So step one, we need to organize our data in a form of shapes. So I'm going to do this really quick. I'm going to start organizing them by circle uh, in a straight line. Okay, now we have triangle. and square. Okay, so now we have our graph of data. So by simply asking questions, we can actually make some kind of interpretation. So let's take a look at our data and make sure everything's lined up. And let's ask a question, which of the shape do we have the most amount? So by looking at it, we can see that the longest line of shape is the one with the most amount, which is circle. Let's ask another question. Which shape has the least amount? So the shortest line tells us that that shape is the least amount, which is triangle. Now let's make it more interesting. Let's grab another bag of data, bag number two. And at home, make sure you grab you, your bag number two has the same object as your bag number one. Okay, so again, we'll follow the steps. Sort them. Organize them in straight lines by shapes and make sure they lined up. All right, so let's ask the same question. On bag number two, which shape has the most amount? So the longest line tells us that circle has the most amount which is the least amount. Triangle is the least amount. Now, uh, since we have two data, we can actually compare this data to this data right here. Can you see the pattern? Can you see any pattern? What's happening? Let's take a look at the triangle. What happened? Compare it to this one. We lost two triangle shapes. So by playing with data, 
and organizing it, sorting it, and make some interpretation, we can actually come up with some interesting information that can help us decide. Uh, here's another interesting part. If we have another bag, let's say bag three, we can actually predict which shape has the most amount on bag number three based on those two data that we played around. Pretty cool, huh? So I hope you get to try this at home, collect some data, and be surprised on your discoveries. Back to Liana. Thanks, Joseph. Sorting, organizing, and interpreting data is something that you can try at home. I like the suggestions of cereal, but maybe try some candy or some mixed vegetables and see which one you like best. For more information, other lists, tips, and tricks about our STEM Challenge Yourself series, be sure to check out sfpl.org and stay STEMtastic. <laughs>